Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to try to create a bulk set of users uh, directly from Azure portal. Yes, uh, we don't need to use even PowerShell. You can do this even directly from the Azure portal. To do that, what you can do is you can simply navigate uh, from the Azure Active Directory to the users and you have here bulk activities. So this is where you can do bulk uh, invite, bulk delete, uh, bulk even download the users. Let's say you have maybe 60,000 objects you want to download to a CSV format file. You can do that or you can delete some of the user accounts and you can invite the invitation for B2B users that also we can do it directly from here and we can also create so now we are going to perform bulk create so the steps involves like what happens is it actually gives you a, a sample usernames and the format of the file and you need to use that format and input the usernames and then that would actually create a user record so bulk create click on that and you can download the sample template if you have the already sample you can simply upload but in our case this is the first time so we are actually trying to download the template once downloaded open up that and you see here you have the complete version information so the first one we don't need this so simply delete this and uh, you need to give the display name example here a Chris Chris Green and uh, the domain name so in this case if you see here what's my domain name so my domain name is in this case uh, it's to be learn in my lab.com so I'll just give uh, here this account name learn in my lab.com and whatever the password you want to set it you can set it and do you want to block the sign in first name last name and job title department or uses location address street all the possible attributes you have here so it's up to you you want to maintain these all the details or but at least the required would be required fields would be if you see here required was mentioned very clearly that only these information along with that you also have you should have the users location also um, always you know give the users location that otherwise the Azure Active Directory doesn't allow the users to use different resources so I would re recommend that you to give the users location and these things so I'm gonna fill in a minute or so and I'll come back to you if you see here my data I try to use all the information that needs to be at least to be filled as per my requirement let's see the first one is the version which is mandatory that should be there uh, and uh, if you see here the name and the user name and the password blocking requirement all that has been you know configured along with the uh, country uses location department and the mobile number this is just the sample data so once I have uh, have this data I'll simply saved uh, and then uh, just I'm gonna save here in this location and simply import from now simply import from bulk create and here we have already downloaded the sample and we did input it our user IDs within that sample so I'm just browsing and giving the sample file located here and you see here the validation is successful in case if you have an errors you have to resolve those uh, by looking at the sample data and submit it's gonna actually create the user accounts in a minute or so if you see here it's actually in process so the processing might take a minute or so if you see here the bulk operation has successful and if I just click on this the sample information has been successfully created with all this information so if I just download I can even download the task information or just go to my Azure Active Directory and click on users I should be able to see here all the user accounts that we have given within the sample CSV file and users can able to log in with their user ID and the password and the first login the users have to change the password that's how it's gonna set you see here the United States and the mobile number all that has been as it is config I hope this is useful for you you know in terms of creating a bulk user accounts